Hi there, my name is Doug. Back around the turn of the century, I put out several albums of lo-fi, kinda psychedelic pop under the name Fizzle Like a Flood. One of those albums was called Golden Sand in the Grandstand. It was a concept album inspired by Omaha's now long gone Exarban horse racing track, the grandstand of which was still standing when I made the album. It looks a lot different there now. The record was pretty well received and I'm told even inspired an album by my friend Matt Whipke. For years, I've been wanting to make a true follow-up to Golden Sand, and have kicked around a few ideas. Local places that have an interesting story, but none of them ever stuck, until now. Having opened in 1984, Mystery Manor is Omaha's longest-running haunted attraction. I've been through its crooked halls and down its slide of doom countless times. I even worked there as an actor one season. The idea for my album came in a most unusual way. See, five years ago, I decided to build a haunted house in my basement. You heard me right. I actually became what they call a home haunter, building walls, hanging lights, and designing spooky things all inside my basement. And it's been tons of fun getting friends to help out each Halloween. And this is why Mystery Matter popped directly to mind two years ago when my thoughts again turned to what could inspire a follow-up to Golden Sand. So now, boys and ghouls, I give you Black Walls and William Hall haunted love story. The album has already been written and even half recorded. You're hearing some of it right now. In fact, I've released most of the first side as a free digital EP titled Stage Door, Dead as Dreams, along with this Kickstarter. Just look for the link. This time, instead of playing most everything myself, I've asked some of my super talented musician friends to help out, including Matt Wibke, Travis Singh, Solomon Thornbrush, and even this guy. My plan is to release Black Walls next Halloween on Blood Splatter Red Vinyl. And this is where you come in, friends. I'm paying for recording and mastering all myself, but need help conjuring up the cost of the vinyl. Please, please, please consider supporting my album by contributing to one of the support levels listed. Anything you can afford will be hugely appreciated. This is an album 22 years in the making, and I really think it's the best thing I've ever made. Even better than my basement haunted house. Thank you.